Well, good day, everybody. Welcome to another tool video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Snap On Pry Bar set. Now, this is a set that I only recommend buying when the special comes on, which is like a couple times a year. Otherwise, you're wasting your money. Now, this Pry Bar set to me is worth its weight in gold. Some other people are going to strongly disagree. And here it is, right here in its glory. Four piece Pry Bar set. $249 with the special that was just on with snap on you got the three foot bar for free three foot bar retails $179 and I know what a lot of you are thinking there's no way I'm gonna spend 250 bucks on a set of pry bars that is out of the question not worth the money I understand where you're coming from however let's have a look at some cheap pry bars I probably had in my garage over a decade these are your typical bargain basement pry bars that you'll find in like your Princess Auto Harbor Freight stores. These are garbage. You can see right here, this one here has got a big bend in it because it just doesn't have the strength. This one here, tips all bent up. I don't think I've ever really used this one too much. You know, these ones have done their job. The problem with these pry bars is, is that a lot of your force is lost because of the flexibility in the actual pry bar itself. There's a lot of tools off the snap-on truck I would not buy just because I know I can get like the same quality somewhere else. But this is one of those tools that is a must-have off the truck. So this is snap-on's new lineup of pry bars. What makes these pry bars different than their previous ones is that the new ones are designed with thicker handles ergonomically friendly and they got a striker up top to hit them with a hammer so you could essentially obviously use them as a chisel because you know when you're prying on something you need to get under something and you start beating on the handle and what happened with the old snap-on pry bars is that a lot of people were breaking them now I had originally purchased this set to replace the old set I have at work that does not have these striker handles or the thick ones but then i got thinking about it i should just leave those ones at work because once those ones break and they return the snap on they replace with these ones so it's a win-win situation now however one guy at work had just bought this set two weeks ago and now the special is that you get this three foot bar and he's a little bit burnt by it because feels like he got ripped off and I totally understand and that's the number right there obviously if you've been on the snap-on truck these stick out like a sore thumb usually as soon as you enter the door and besides how could you not love the lime green it's pretty freaking amazing if you ask me so what I got right here is comparison of El Cheapo and professional grade obviously one of the first things you're going to notice off the bat is that the snap-on is a way sexier pry bar with a way heftier price tag the metal is pretty much the same thickness going all the way through it does look like the cheaper one looks like they grinded it off coming up to the tip where this one here they just bent it and then flattened it out Obviously you're looking at handle sizes handle sizes on the cheaper versions are a lot smaller no striker up top so Over time with hitting it with a hammer trying to get it in places providing that it doesn't bend and break on you first The handle probably breaks sometime now looking at the snap-on obviously Probably five times the money lifetime warranty striker up top ergonomical handle way better quality just feels so much better in your hand it's got the grooves for your thumb and fingers when you're working on stuff this is why professional tools cost so much money it's not because they're trying to rip you off it's because they've been tried and tested in professional environment time and time again where these El Cheapo ones made in China it's a wing wing factory well just a temporary tool they all break. The snap-on one is freaking amazing. And who doesn't love that green? Who does not love that green? 
in all honesty at my work or over the years the snap bar pry bars that I have is the old school orange ones without the striker and I've only broken the three foot bar once is that uh, the very tip of it broke off and they replaced it with one with a striker but I'm just saying like over 10 years never had an issue and I beat the shit out of them so to me they're worth their weight in gold to other people not so much but if you're in the trades and you have a business it's a write-off anyways so if you have any questions or comments post them below otherwise I want to thank you for this tool review and there'll be many more coming up in the future